Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. Happy Friday, the Friday before Christmas. Christmas, the Friday before Christmas. We've got front of the program, reality, Steve Carbone. Power spoiler, power Olive Garden enthusiast responding to Jane Doe in the Clayton Eckerd v. Jane Doe paternity scandal. Some are calling it a harassment scandal. I don't know if the word harassment plays well with my search engine optimization, but that's exactly what's going on here. So his response to her telling him, stop talking about me. Essentially, she said, get your name out my mouth. And he said, no, make me. Uh, and uh, that's what happens right here. I'm going to play it for you. Follow me on Instagram at Neals for stand-up show updates. Uh, next Thursday, the 28th, I'll be performing probably my last show of the year uh, in Huntington Beach at the Rec Room. Patreon.com slash Dave Neal. I'll be live right after this. If anyone wants to drop some bread into the tip jar, come to Patreon.com slash Dave Neal. And every morning and afternoon, Bachelor Rush Hour, the hit podcast. This weekend's um, driving with Dave is going to be a very sentimental one. It's um, a friend of mine, comedian, has overcome cancer, and he has a crazy and inspirational story to share. All right, let's jump into it. So I got to tell you, if you're a friend of mine, you got to be a friend of Steve's, right? You got to be a friend of anyone who's willing to support the sort of truth that we are seeking in this case. And I know a lot of people say, oh, Dave, you're asking for this and that. But what a lot of people don't understand is if Jane Doe did have the power to shut down someone like me and someone like Rally Steve. She would. And then there would be no content and we would just be gone and disappear. By the way, I do want to tell you this. If you can, link in the comment section to my link tree, which has my newsletter. I don't send many emails out. It's kind of like a safety thing. But if for some crazy reason YouTube shut down or you couldn't get a hold of me and I just disappear. What happened to Dave? I will email you and I will tell you where I'll be and all of that. So link in the comment section if you want to sign up for free for my mailing list. It won't be used. I won't be selling your content or any of that. All right, let's get to it. Here's Reality Steve explaining what he said in his response to Jane Doe because he's been going hard on her and I think it's fair. I don't think he's treating her in any sort of special way. He's treating her as someone he just doesn't believe his opinion that she's pregnant, uh, which I share that same opinion uh, because the uh, burden of proof has not been presented to a point where I believe she is pregnant. Now, you might say, Dave, why is it a big deal if she's pregnant or not? It, it normally wouldn't be. I wouldn't care about the reproductive rights of somebody. In fact, I don't care about her reproductive rights. I don't care about any of that whatsoever. What I do care about is this sort of like hit piece that was written about Clayton Eckerd. Imagine if it was all made up. And if it was, you would think he would have a hefty defamation case on his hands. Let's have a listen to what Steve had to say. Nothing was going on. The reason I talk about it is because something new comes up. She posted a Facebook video of six and a half minutes, which was insane. So I talked about it. So I don't just talk about it to talk about it. There's got to be a reason for me. Something happened within the case. Uh and what he's responding to is the random people who say, oh, quit talking about this. You know, not really understanding this is the biggest story that's ever hit Bachelor Nation. The hearing happened. Clayton went on the offensive. Stuff like that. When stuff like that happens, I will talk about it. Sure. And it's just very easy. I understand. It's very easy for someone like yourself who's listening where you're just like, oh, I don't, I don't want to hear about this anymore. Okay, I get it. But you have to understand, this is a woman that's coming after people's livelihoods. She's literally infringing on my First Amendment rights. And he hasn't had to pay the $10,000 in legal fees that I have so far. And we really hope he never has to. Uh, but Clayton has spent that. I've, heard, I've actually heard the other guy spent 150 k So I've heard it's been a lot of money. We're, we're talking about a quarter million dollars here, folks. You know, I know the inflation's pretty high and the price of goods are going up. I know I spent $2 on an orange yesterday. I was real. I mean, I'm about to get scurvy over here. But the point is, is it's like, it's not just someone who's uh, lying it's somebody who's using the court system in a way to drain people. And, and, you know, it's important to stop this. Telling me that I shouldn't be talking about this. She's trying to shut down people who are talking about a public case. It just, it's insane. So I'm going to keep talking about it. And like I've said from the very beginning, when there's, when there's stuff to talk about, I'm going to keep talking about it. Not just... Yeah, Steve doesn't respond well to being told what to do, uh, is my opinion, so that's not a good idea. I've talked about it um, like two days in a row now. Remember, I told you, I haven't heard from since November 14th. Name that redacted. was the last email I got from her. 
That's why I put this uh, shiny thing up here because I bleeped out her name. Now, he has every right to share her name. I'm, she's suing me for harassment. I don't want to say her name. I don't want to look at her face. I don't want to know anything about her, to be quite honest. And I res- If the men and black people want to show up with one of those neuralizers, you can do that to me. Men in black, you can show up. Responded to that twice and never heard back Lo- until yesterday. Lo and behold. Now, I'm not going to go over what she sent me in her email. You know why? It's pointless. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven paragraphs she wrote me, and the bottom line of the email from her was, stop talking about me. Stop talking about me. Stop talking about my pregnancy. Stop talking about my past actions. That's basically all she wanted me to do, but it took her seven paragraphs to basically say the same thing. All right, we'll stop. So I don't need to read you what she wrote me. What I am going to do, though, is re- probably because she's threatening to sue people for reading her private emails, which is ridiculous. But this is one of the one of the reasons why I believe she called the feds on me. One of the reasons is the the dissemination of private emails or whatever. You know, it's like for in in, in the one in the emails she was talking about were actually in court documents, public court documents. Read you word for word what I wrote her back because what did I say in yesterday's podcast? I wish Lee would contact me again because. At least I know she's listening. Careful what you wish And for. I'm going to, the next time she contacts me, I'm going to say, this is what you need to do. And we'll stop talking about you. It's what I've been saying for the longest time. Dave will delete every YouTube video. I'll delete every. What? Yeah, no. Yeah, we will. I mean, we will. Sure. If, you know, my, if, if my opinion was changed. Oh, sorry. One big misunderstanding. I would have all these other questions about the medical uh, sonograms that don't line up. And I, I'd have all these other questions about why she didn't just, uh, you know, uh, if she was going to, you know, accuse someone of being this sort of absentee father and all these things, why she wouldn't actually provide credible information. To, you know, all, all of that, of course. But, uh, you know, if that all showed up in our doorsteps, we would obviously report on that. It's not like we're just going to not share with the audience if new information podcast if she comes on and just does one simple thing it's all she's got to do so she sent me a seven paragraph email basically saying stop talking about me you're infringing on my rights you're i'm a private person so blah, 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 blah. doesn't matter what, what is on your hands dave neal she said so this is what i responded with tell us again i could have my lawyer rip apart this email literally sentence by sentence but it's not worth my time he's already laughed at the past ones you've sent me I've made this as easy for you as possible. Dave and I talk about this case because it's public in the Arizona courts. Garbage. And, we can't. and the reason we talk about it is because we don't believe you that you're pregnant and never have. That's just an Why? opinion. It's just an opinion based on the information that's out there. It's an educated opinion, but it's just an opinion. I, I have that opinion. Steve does. Thousands of people online do. Just an opinion can't really sue someone for an opinion right if it was damaging to her i guess if my opinion was damaging but it's based on the evidence that we've received and i believe in science and the medical world and i'm trusting them when they say that there's little to no fetal dna and all of that other jazz right all right and by the way if again one more time give his podcast a five-star review go download it if you haven't listened to it already uh, obviously he's the big dog here uh, all of us other content creators we couldn't do what we do if it wasn't for steve he's like the the giant shark that we all feed off of i mean the guy's been doing this professionally for a very long time he's carved out a sub segment of a world that never existed before which is uh you know the the way he kind of uh pair uh, you know, covers his show uh, through a parallel fo- uh, form with the spoilers and all that jazz. I don't need to break down his business model here, but give the guy his due. Give the guy his due here. He's a household name in the Bachelor world. And because of guys like him, we don't go this alone. Which, guys, it can be very scary. I know we have uh, you know, thousands of people supporting online, but it can be very scary when I'm the one person she's coming after and, you know, constantly threats of legal this and legal that. I'm being sued for harassment. My court date's February 8th in the L.A. Superior Court. We'll see you there, folks. Let's get pizza after, right? Uh, it's nice to have somebody who has my back, for God's sakes, in this commentary world. Where is everybody out there? We've been alone on the battlefield. Just right. Hey, where are we? What are we gonna? What are we doing? You know, and no one's out there. I thought we were all, uh, you know, pursuing truth and justice. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Because you haven't provided one piece of evidence that you are. Since you listen to my podcast daily, and then in parentheses, 
along with Dave's, which I find totally bizarre that a 30-week pregnant woman spends all day listening to podcasts about her and goes back and forth with trolls on Reddit. Don't you have doctor's appointments to attend? Don't you have anything better to do? Don't you have the health of your unborn twins, quote-unquote, to worry about more than this? I digress. End of paragraph. End of parentheses there. You've heard me say this a thousand times. Pregnancy is the easiest thing in the world to prove, especially at 30 weeks. When you were four, six, eight weeks pregnant, maybe not as hard. Now, simple. Yeah, just share the anatomy scans. I mean, gosh, I've got anatomy. I know, I know my I, how much my baby weighs. I know how I know what his lips look like. Like I like it, yeah. We got it all, baby. It's it's technology. It's twenty twenty three. I I know the fundalite. I, I I can tell you the arches of the this and the that. I nipples get a certain every. I mean, it's come on. It's like the paper. The paper trail of pregnancy is absolutely wild out here. I've been to 11, 12. I mean, uh, you know, gold star for me, husband of the year. I get to go and luckily have a job that's uh, independent enough where I can go to the uh, ultrasounds and all of this. But, you know, they rub a little KY jelly on the belly. They stick the little... uh, tool against you next thing you know you see a baby doing somersaults he's got the i mean i literally i literally can see the umbilical cord am i pronouncing that right i don't think so it goes up wraps around the bladder and a part of it goes right right to the heart there of the baby you get to see all these amazing things your eyes tear up as you watch life being created isn't it a beautiful and it is a beautiful thing which is why because of how sensitive and beautiful it is and how sort of fragile life is that's what makes it so offensive that anyone would use this thing that I have that you don't being holding this over her, her the guy's he, uh, uh, heads that don't want to date her. Oh, you're stuck with me now, bitch. That type of deal. That's the offensive part. You would have had so many doctor's appointments to this point. They'd be coming out of your ears. So show us proof. Go into your patient portal and print out your most recent visit. Wow. Not hard at all. Don't want to do that? Fine. Get on a FaceTime call. No videos, no pictures, no sonograms, etc. Now, you might not know this, and this is why I consider Steve to be a, a very good journalist in this community, is that when he has a story, he'll ask people to FaceTime him, you know, maybe look at their driver's license, you know, in order to vet somebody, not to share with the audience. But then we believe, like, if, 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 if Steve FaceTimed her and, and then called me, I, tr- I trust him, right? I have every reason to trust him. And if he says, geez, she put me on her FaceTime. I saw her. I literally saw two different sets of babies kicking. They were playing soccer within her ovaries. I saw the whole thing. I'd say, well, Steve, I trust you that you saw that. But what you don't trust is an email that came from this guy or that, you know, I went to this center. I tested positive for HCG. My third vaccine is this. You know, you don't trust that when it's not from a reputable source. You know, you have to you have to have some dose of reality here. All you have to do is show us what you've been screaming from the mountaintops for 30 weeks, and that's that you're pregnant. You should have done this weeks ago, but, well, we all know why you haven't. You prove to us you're pregnant and show proof they're Clayton's, and we're done talking about this. Dave and I stop immediately and remove all videos and podcasts about it. It, Not only would I remove my podcasts, I would take whatever evidence we have here that proves that I'm wrong, and I would present that and say, here's where I got this story wrong. I was operating under this belief, but it's actually that belief, and here's where I know this to be the truth now. Let's all take some space. We'll even raise some money for the baby shower. You know, like, we'll right the wrong there. But it's, 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 it's futile. It's futile, but that's what we would do. It is that simple. Yet something tells me, here comes the list of excuses as to why you won't do that in three, two, one. And that was my email to her. And there it is. And you can go listen to the rest of what Reality Steve said there, because as you can see from this time code that I have, I always show you guys this on Patreon. I, I, I do the behind the scenes and I show you how I create the sound waves and this and that and all of the, you know, the, uh, you know, the other things. So if you, if you actually want to see how it's, how the sausage is all made, it's all in here. And you know what, and, and in order to make so the graphics, just, just to kind of go inside baseball here, as you guys know, I don't use uh, the image of Jane Doe. Actually, if you look down here, I'm actually if I get rid of the effects, it's actually an image of um, 
uh, of Anna Delvey here, who of course is a notorious scam artist out of New York. Uh, as far you know, allegedly, I guess she's in jail or went to jail or whatever. And then you know, I don't actually have the email he sent, but I used an email down here as sort of just like my uh, you know uh, fake email, just to, just to illustrate for you guys that an email exists. And of course, there's reality, Steve. So if you want to see how the sausage is made, you can go on Patreon where we share all of this from the bricks I put there in the background to this and that. It's all technical, folks. Hey, maybe you want to get into the world of Photoshop for 2024. If I could offer you any advice, it would be that there are a robust amount of tutorials on YouTube where you can learn how to do this. Anyone who's followed me for the last couple of years knows I never knew how to make this beforehand, but now I kind of taught myself through the help of YouTube. Either way, um, you know what I like to do is spend my time doing creative things. It really helps fuel me. My suggestion, just just my suggestion from one content creator to another, to old um, Janie D over here, JD, my suggestion is just admit it's all a ruse. You can blame your mental health whatever just you know admit it move on we'll leave you alone i can promise you that i'll encourage my audience just to forget you ever existed just don't do it again just don't do it again i think that's the issue is people don't want this to happen again because i could see a scenario if you do this to a guy and people don't believe him and he loses his job and he's on the fritz i could see this ending very very poorly we have a chance to write this ship. Let's do it, right? All right, folks. Well, I'll be live on Patreon. And don't forget, link in the comment section below if you want to join our newsletter. It's right down the link tree. It says newsletter. You click on it. You put in your email. Easy peasy. I won't bug you. And we'll be back right after this. <laughs> 